Hi there, I'm Mike Creevy for Homeschool Connections, and with me today is Homeschool Connections instructor John Paul Zwick. John Paul, thank you so much for stopping by today. Hi, thank you. How you doing? Good, good. This is exciting. This first we've chatted, and uh, right, right. as always with these these uh, introduction videos, these promo videos, I just like to ask our you know instructors to share a little bit about your background, what led you to Homeschool Connections, and, and teaching for us. Right. So basically, um, I've always had a passion for video games. Um, developing, kind of getting behind there, behind the scenes and figuring out all, how all that stuff works. When you like write code and it just works, there's like nothing more satisfying to me. And I also just love creating things to just entertain people. So that's like my passion from a young age. I've always loved video games. Yeah. Um, and so I basically learned about this. I learned Python. I learned C Sharp. I'm currently using the Unity game engine. Um, working on my own projects, uh, first time teaching though. So I'm really excited to, uh, share my passion here. That's awesome. And it's funny cause I, uh, I'll have students like in my high school class, um, I teach full time and then they'll ask me like about some game or whatever, like, Mr. Creed, are you a gamer? And I'm like, I, I, I was kind of when I was young, and then I think yeah. where it started to, to fall apart for me was when my friend who's like a ridiculously great shot just kept like shooting me every time I respond in Halo. Yeah, and we really played for like an hour and a half, and he, I was like, yeah. he's like, "Oh, come on!" I was like, "Well, this this isn't fun." Like, what are you, like, what are you you're doing? having I'm, fun. I'm target I'm... practice for you. Yeah, this is yeah. ridiculous. So, but I love you know, like, yeah. I mean, like, some I, I go back and find some older school games and stuff, or even some of the stuff my uh, my kids might play. And it's always fun. What what about it? Really, you know, kind of. Uh, well, I wouldn't say hooked you. I think all maybe all kids or most kids kind of have that natural interest in that. Right. Like, sometimes it fades away for like different reasons. What was it that really kind of clicked with you, or has continued to be? be a, an interest is it this this sort of not just being a player but also like that sort of like almost tolkien-esque sub creation yeah. right kind of yeah. being able to develop right yeah i mean like you said it's like creating something other than yourself that's the expression of yourself i mean it's art it's it's feedback the feedback is just so cool I mean, it's something you're never going to see in a movie or a book um just that kind of input output and that I also love how when you learn about coding and game design and understanding how other people think, um, you really can understand, like you get a passion for breaking things down, breaking like knowledge into bite-sized pieces mm -hmm. for, for people to like, to absorb. Like for instance, even like when my other jobs, like fast food restaurant stuff, I'd be a trainer and I would train people on these different tasks and me understanding how to break commands and in code into this line goes to the computer and then this line and then this line and it's the right order and then yeah. small first and break down the bigger stuff that served me so well and just working with people and how am I going to break this down so they can understand it yeah and it was like a one-to-one -one thing and it was like okay this is like the most fun rewarding thing in my life and I'm like this connects to a lot of things in my life as well <laughs> yeah sure absolutely well and, and like you said with translating this over to, to teaching, what do you, you know, kind of have lined up here? What are you hoping to kind of get into with your students? What can they look forward to? Anything like that? I'd love yeah, to well, basically, um, we're going to be making two games here um, about the, first of all, about using the Python game engine, and we're going to be making a game that reflects their Catholic faith as well. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to be learning, basically, variables, functions. They're going to be learning about all the little little different parts of programming um, from a beginner level, um, so no pressure. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun, um, and yeah, yeah. And what what age range is, is this here? You're looking for primarily was it like middle school, um, high school, or I think it is. I think it is middle school. Yeah, two high schools. It's a pretty wide range. I mean, it's it's yeah. it's definitely approachable. I'd say. Yeah. Sure. How do you? I'm just curious how you like sort of plan to assess this kind of this kind of thing it's just it's neat it's a different kind of you know classroom um environment and experience um you know i, I guess i'm like what is what do you expect kind of homework to look like or how, like are there different levels oh, yeah. that you kind of evaluate the, yeah. the the build basically on their game or how's that going? yeah oh, well exactly so from the basic basic building blocks of this it's going to be write this code and it's going to do this and did you get a b or c like which answer did you get out of your code um, and then it's going to be something like you're going to throw these images on screen and it's going to it's going to play. And then you're going to have input and output from the 
from the player and we're going to judge you on if this actually works and then further on we're going to be they're going to be submitting their ideas for this this uh, this little project they're going to make and then that will be its own grade uh, but just a lot of quizzes and then projects and then the game yeah yeah. I love and, and the connection to faith, like because some people might, you know, you might be like, well, how does that connect? And yeah, there's something to me that's just this interesting sort of, I don't know, maybe I'll just ask you this, this balance maybe between like work, like work and play, right? I mean, you even I feel like you even see that with God and creation, um, you know, this 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 balance. I mean, he didn't need to rest because he's exhausted. He rests because right. it's good to do that, right? You know, yeah, it's to culminate in this, this yeah. act. And I even think that that little, uh, I think it was the first season of The Chosen when you see Jesus like working on something, oh. some wood carving thing, and he looks at it, makes sure it works, and he's like, it's good. And he smiles. <laughs> it's just, and there's no one else around. That. Just the idea that that's what God does. You know, when he, of yeah. course, when he comes here, he's still he making stuff. But he's, yeah, like there's a, there, he wants to enjoy it too. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I, I never seen the show, but he looks at it and says it's good. Even yeah. something he's working on, that's so good. Because that's exactly what we're doing. We're basically, uh, creating the build, hitting go, and checking for any bugs. You know, usually a bunch of them pop down, and so that's sure. we're gonna we're gonna tackle that. Um, but yeah, I mean, to glorify God, like I'm gonna do my best, and these students, we're gonna make sure they're doing their best. And I I, I kind of love that connection you made there. <laughs> yeah. Well, and and you just said too that's I I hadn't thought of that the importance of like with any field, the the benefit we can get I imagine you know from how to recover from a mistake, right? Because that's yeah. we see that, like, my daughter, for example, will sometimes hesitate. She's wonderfully musically talented, but sometimes there's that yeah. hesitation to do uh, that next lesson because she's afraid of making a mistake. And I'm always right. trying to teach her, well, honey, that's how you learn, right? You know, you yeah. have to, ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> like, where, where did that coding thing go wrong? You know, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's frustrating. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, so, it's so natural, though, and it's such a necessary part of it. Like, it's really about, it's about talking to the computer and, it's, oh man, why is this working? And you're like frustrated, but you, you cause the computer doesn't understand what you're saying. And that kind of skills we're going to develop, like talk, give the commands and logically working it out. Um, and they're going to get those skills to kind of say, Hey, maybe it's not, maybe it's not, I suck. Maybe, uh, it's not, I'm, I'm terrible. I never, I'm never get this right, but maybe it's, it just doesn't understand what you're saying. It's just, yeah. you look at the documentation and then there you go. Right. And like you said earlier, too, that's there's a, a life skill right there, too, because that happens with people, too. Yeah. <laughs> or like with your daughter, kids right? or whatever. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, this is. Yeah, this sounds exciting. So is yeah, anything absolutely. else you want to you know, uh, want to share here to give people, you know, any more insight yeah. or anything or, or certainly how people can get in touch with you and learn more? Yeah, well, um, my email, jpzwickau dot hsc at gmail.com. That is going to be the email any parents can get reach me on there uh, about the classes. Um, if the classes, of course, are on Caravo, so you can sign up for them on there. Um, and yeah, just I'm just really excited <laughs> to get in there and share my passion because, yeah. yeah, got a lot awesome. of them. Well, John Paul, thanks so much for stopping by today, sharing about your Homeschool Connections courses. Hope you get a good turnout. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm looking forward yeah. to this. Hey, take care. Thank you, man.